The United States of America has agreed to return over $308 million looted by late General Sania Bacha to the people of Nigeria. This was contained in a statement on Tuesday by the U.S. Embassy in Nigeria. It announced that the agreement was reached on Monday, February 3rd by the government of Jersey, the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and the government of the United States of America. The funds were laundered through the U.S. banking system and then held in bank accounts in Jersey in the name of Doraville Properties Cooperation, a BVI company, and in the name of a bachelor's son. Now, joining me live in the studio to discuss this in Troma Lights is Ugochuku Ikako, a political analyst. Thank you very much, Ugochuku, for joining us this evening. Thank you for having me. All right, let's go into this, this evening. Now, the U.S. agreed to return over $308 million looted by Janasari Abacha to Nigeria 22 years after the funds were looted. What's your reaction to this development? Well, uh, it, it shows that, uh, that the Abacha government dealt with Nigerians. In a, very, in, a, in a way that is bad, sad, and even, even as we still think about it today, is, 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 is evil. Uh, this is the, 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 the equivalent of, of that amount in today's world and what it was then, that, that, that's such a huge amount of money, and, and it's sad. And it also shows how the, uh, the financial institution in the world uh, is just there to make some people rich, uh, to the detriment of the poor, to the detriment of people that need the money, mm. right? Holding the money that belongs to Nigeria for 222 years, uh, someone that, someone would have been made investment with this money, made money with this 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 looted funds that belongs to Nigeria, and uh, here we are, 22 years after the U.S. government uh, uh, is giving us back the money. Yes. And uh, for me, uh, <laughs> you feel like do you say thank you to them for returning this back, this money, or do you say that? There's no need for us to say thank you. This is our money initially. Yeah. And, but it, it is sad, and it shows that uh, uh, the kind of leaders that we've had in the past and uh, the kind of bad leadership that Nigeria, Nigerians have been through over the last, over the last uh, uh, decade. So it's a sad development, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, let's just hope that when the money comes to Nigeria, something productive will, will, be, done with it. will be done with it. Now, interesting of note is that this money was actually laundered through the U.S. banking system and then held in the bank in, in, in Jersey. Now, what does this portray of, of the Nigerian system, the banking system? But it, uh, but I'm not surprised. Uh, from Nigeria to, to the U.S., uh, to Europe, or across uh, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the island country, talk about the Dominican Republic and the rest of them. Uh, we've seen, you remember when the, uh, the Panama Papers uh, came out? Yes. Uh, we saw that most of, uh, most of these guys, that they be politicians and big business owners and the rest of them, they, they loot money you know, through some of these uh, banks and some of these big financial institutions. And so, so it shows that uh, the financial system of the world uh, has been crafted in a way uh, to take money, uh, to make some people rich. And they don't care. They, they, for them, there is no rules at the end of the day, be it in America, be it in Dominican Republic, be it in Nigeria. The, 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 their interest is just to take money off one place and hide it somewhere. So it just, uh, what happened with the U.S. banking system with this money, because 308 million U.S. dollars moved from Nigeria to the U.S. banking system. Someone kept it in uh, Jersey. In Jersey, for, in the bank in Jersey. For, for, for 22 years. It's, it's something that is applicable down here in Nigeria. It's something that is applicable around the world. So uh, the financial institution in the world is, is something that is, that is uh, somehow, somehow need to, need to be looked into yeah. because uh, some people are profiting from it. Some people, some people are making money from uh, people's pain, uh, from people's uh, uh, poverty, because at the end of the day, Nigerians need this money more than them. And here we are, where you have our money in, in a banking system for 222 years, and this is 300, 308. Now, the, the major concerns about the misappropriation or mismanagement of these looted funds, or even the looted funds being relooted. Now, how do we ensure this doesn't happen and that this money is put into good use in the, in the country? I, I think the, 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 that concern is valid. It's very, very valid. We've seen in the past where looted funds, once, once it enters Nigeria, it disappears again. And um, it, it, that is part of corruption that, that we face in our country. But uh, the, from, from, what the, from what the federal government said that this will be used for key infrastructure project, the second Niger bridge, uh, the, the, the roads across Lagos and across the north, and this, this money will be domiciled with NSIA, the institution that is in charge of financing uh, some of these big projects. Yeah. So if, if it will be done this way, there is hope that uh, a large percentage of this money will be used for something productive. But uh, I don't think that all, all the 308 million US dollars will not be so, somehow, somehow, because that is the country we found ourselves in, yes. and that is the financial system of the world that we found ourselves in. Somebody will somehow will tamper with this money, and if but if everything is done right, the NSIA will, will, will use a bulk of this money to finance some key project, and if they can do that, I think that is fine. But it's just sad that uh, this happens all the time. 
Political analyst Ugo Chukwuekeako, thank you very much for your contribution. Thank you for having me.